This next guy is the only foreigner I would ever have sex with. Um, if he was a woman and not fucking Russian. Uh, please welcome to the stage the dirty Russian Alex Solodov. <laughs> What's up, AK? Man, every time I fucking get on stage and I say what's up, AK, I never get any response to that. I need to stop doing that. Alright, fuck it. The weather finally changed. That's a fucking good note, huh? Finally everything is warm and everything is nice. I fucking hate cold weather. In cold weather, you wake up and you're like, what the fuck happened to my dick, dude? <laughs> it's like a little tic-tac down there. And if you're with a lady, right? Because the lady, you, you've read something spoken to you somewhere, right? So you're like, darling, you okay? And you're like, uh, sorry, uh, that's only two calories I got. Cat <laughs> was talking about cop in front of you. I um, I compare cop, cop cars to the gay guys. Because if they're in front of me, that's all good. But I'm getting a little bit nervous if they're behind me. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, like Joe said, I am uh, I am Russian, and a lot of questions I get, it's like, what's the fucking difference between Russia and America? First off, it's just a retarded question, because it's a whole fucking different world. I mean, it's a whole different, the other side of the, the other side of the world. But I usually, the way I compare it is TV shows. Here, you have a TV show called Deal or No Deal, right? Over there, usually we call it Dinner or No Dinner. Here you have a uh, survivor like Tropical Islands or something. Over there we have Survivor Siberia. Survivor Chernobyl, for fuck's sake. And actually, Chernobyl, funny story. My dad owns a tourist company back in Ukraine, and um, he posted an ad in a newspaper, or not a newspaper, but <clears throat> this tourist company that specializes, specializes in foreign tourists. So anyway, the ad was supposed to say, one day trip to Chernobyl, or one day tour to Chernobyl. He never got a call on it, and he, finally when he saw the ad, there was a mistype, and it said, one way tour to Chernobyl. <laughs> um, another show, another really awesome show, the difference. Here you have a show called, So You Think You Can Dance. Over there is a show that we usually love to play with foreigners, so you think you can drink. <laughs> Don't play that if you're over there. Uh, Russians do drink a lot. I mean, if whatever you heard about Russians drinking a lot is not true. We drink a lot more. <laughs> we, we do. I'm surprised how much we drink. After the night of partying, I'm just counting the bottles. I was like, do we drink all of that? Uh-huh. Just the three of us? Uh-huh. It's crazy. Uh, here, uh, in the United States, illegally, you can start drinking at 21, right? Yeah. Over there, by 21, we're already planning on how to quit drinking. <laughs> Only a Russian guy can say, I bet you three bottles of vodka that I can quit drinking. It's like, uh, why are we betting vodka? He's like, oh, 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 that's for my kids, that's for my kids. <laughs> Only a Russian guy can sneak out of the house, which is already a really heroic, really heroic move if you marry to a Russian girl, because those bitches don't fuck around. You do something wrong, she's gonna rip off your fucking balls. And I'm gonna repeat it, not cut off, rip off your fucking balls. Stuff them in your fucking throat so you would be quiet while she's teaching you how to live. <laughs> Does that mean one minute? But anyway, so only a Russian guy can sneak out of the house to go to his lover's house to get drunk. Uh, I wonder how many of these I can fit. <laughs> you know you party too hard last night if in the morning you wake up and you go to work and you're just praying to get fired. <laughs> you know you party too hard if uh, in the morning you wake up and your wife left you a note and this time she did not go to her mom's house. This time she went to a whole different fucking city. You know you're too fucking fucked up last night if you wake up in the morning, go take a piss, and in the middle of your piss you realize the fucking condom is still on. Oh. That is a fucking nasty situation to get out of. And the least you are a condom. Thank you. <laughs> Do I know you? Nope, he did. Yeah. Um, the last one. You know you fucking partied 
last night too hard. You know, you parted too hard. And your daughter in the morning comes to you and, Daddy, I'm pregnant. You're like, oh fuck, I wish I had your concerns right now. <laughs> Guys, alexsolodove.com, check me out on YouTube. Thank you for coming out, supporting the local comedians. Have a good rest of the night.